You either love it or you hate it. Or if you're like me, you can totally take it or leave it. But apparently a lot of people, especially here in Eastern Massachusetts, love this tricolored fall tree. In fact, candy maker Brax sells almost $1.3 million a year in candy corn. And most of it, almost half, are sold right here at a stop and shop. Of course, my bigger problem with candy corn, it doesn't look anything like corn. As it turns out, when it first hit the market, candy corn was actually called chicken feed. Golitz Confectionery Company released ads touting the kernel-shaped sweet as, quote, something worth crowing for when it began making it at the turn of the 20th century. <laughs> Name notwithstanding, not everyone is as indifferent about it as I am. This fall delicacy is decidedly divisive. I've liked it ever since I was a little kid. There are a lot, including members of my own family, who when I eat it think I'm, I'm disgusting. I love candy corn. I, mean, I don't think we offer candy corn right now. All right, put that on the list. <laughs> What's not to like, really? Um, plenty, according to its detractors. It's like eating candle wax. That's why I had so many cavities. It's meaningless. Compared to things like chocolate and peanut butter, candy corn just pales in comparison. So far, our unsanctioned survey is split, half for and half against. So we conducted an even more informal poll of our Chronicle staff. 55% hate it, 36% love it, and 9% are eh. It's not something I seek out, but if candy corn finds me, thank you. I'll partake. I mean, sure, the texture is like candle wax but the flavor is good. Oh, I'm into candy corn. Of those in the office, those in favor were few. The opposition, visceral and very vocal. You know how it kind of like just melts in your mouth? Disgusting. No, 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 no. Way too sweet. Not my cup of tea. These taste like tiny waxy socks. So, where does this leave us? Disgusted or delighted? And divided. Nay, I can't stand the taste of it. Yay, I love it. <laughs> it looks like those on opposite sides of the issue can coexist, even when it comes to candy corn. I never knew this about him. I never buy candy corn, because I don't like it. <laughs> and I don't eat it, because you don't buy it. <laughs> But the top three in Massachusetts, oh. Reese's Cups, Starburst, and then Kit Kat bars. Okay, you know, I'm going to give it another shot. You are. And Mike Wonkum told us that you're supposed to eat it the, by color. So, what? Mm-mm. All, all I'm going to say <laughs> is for people who do like no. it, I hear you, I see you, I respect you, <laughs> I just disagree with you. That's Chronicle for tonight. I'm Anthony Everett. I'm Shana. Good night. Yeah, there you go. See? <laughs>